I tend to walk around a lot, randomly. Places with a lot of tourists, places with a lot of locals, places with a lot of kids. Everywhere tends to provoke a spark in me. Why? Because outside of campus and SK, there is daily life. There are people who are going to work, families who are getting their kids put together and sending them off to school, couples who seem to be romantically entranced in each other, while others breaking up at Paris Baguette, or the young and reckless who hide behind alleyways, sneaking a cigarette with friends before running off to pretend it never happened. While I'm simply an onlooker, I like to observe this life away from the American lifestyle I have grown in. Different from the 9 to 5 work shift and away from seeing friends at Starbucks or in mall. Rather, here I see workers walking together to get lunch rather than run errands during their lunch break and where friends walk around with each other playing crane games and eating ramen outside convenience stores or sharing a cake or bing su at the many cafes. It's a different lifestyle in these small local neighborhoods and it's refreshing to be a part of. While there are many unique individuals in South Korea, there is one group of individuals who constantly cause me to find fascination in them. The youth! They are carefree, work hard, and play harder. They are curious and creative. They take care of themselves and dress for themselves. Whether their style is preppy and cute or edgy and straight out of a G-Dragon photo shoot, they don't mind being themselves. They spend time with each other and focus on building relationships among classmates and friends. Through soju and norebang or anything in between, they interact on a different level and it makes their friendship seem on another level. Something very personal to my perspective is my pre-existing idea of what I imagined a South Korean high school student lifestyle was like. I assumed all high schoolers did was study and they had no fun, therefore oppressed and sad all the time. I've written a lot of essays about it in high school and in college. This assumption has changed being here. When I watch people here in South Korea, I always see students who are running about to their hop ones and going to study for the day. Visiting the girls' high school, I became close to many of the girls there. We laughed about our interests in, for me, Korean dramas and for them, American television series, our shared love for Sung Joon Ki, and our favorite places to buy the best lip tints. As we spoke, we walked around the classroom, picking up pieces of freshly cooked jeon with our chopsticks and feeding it to other students in the classroom and a few other girls who snuck in when they saw us. Sharing our laughter and meeting these girls, I realized how wrong I was about Korean high school students. They are not dissatisfied with their lifestyles. Rather, they have each other and they build close relationships with their peers through these stressful times. Whenever I walk early in the mornings, I see all the students in their uniforms as they walk in big groups, excitedly talking and playing together. Overall, I people watch to get inspiration. I'm inspired by the workers, the couples, the high schoolers, the youth. I'm inspired that they can flawlessly pull together perfectly unique outfits, work hard at school, and build strong relationships among each other. Through nights eating sam samgyeopsal in Chincheon or Hongdae, while I have always struggled to find that perfect balance with commitments and play, it's fun to see how South Koreans makes both for the perfect balance. They all inspire me in ways that I would never have imagined. Through meeting and watching students, workers, teachers, future artists, current artists, I've come to see how working hard isn't always a bad thing that causes misery, but you can actually build relationships and yourself to give you the greatest joys out of life.